Welcome to the Mechanics Library E-Edition and to this travel edition featuring Yosemite National Park. This presentation is brought to you by Ranger Jack Rickert. And now, let's tour Yosemite. Here we are hiking the John Muir Trail and it is snowing very deeply. John Muir Trail connects to the Half Dome Climb, which is usually accessed via the Mist Trail. Unfortunately, the Mist Trail was closed due to heavy snow. When we lost the trail at one point, we found ourselves walking over bushes on what we thought was the trail. We did get to see Liberty Cap, though, in the Nevada Falls, which lie right near it. Here, my shoe's having a little bit of trouble. Here, we've tried to fix my shoes. It's kind of successful. Mama's thrift store hiking boots had actually also broken the day before, so we looked a little bit bedraggled. the firefall. We weren't planning on coming to except for we couldn't get to the groves we wanted to before it was dark so we decided to go here anyway instead. The light from the sun hits the firefall and makes the spray glow. The firefall only happens a few seconds a day when in February when the angle of the sun is right. This is Upper Yosemite Falls, which is the tallest falls in North America. The Upper Falls, as well as the Lower Yosemite Falls, are strongest during the late winter to early spring when snow melt causes water to flow down many of the cliffs in Yosemite. El Capitan, which means the captain, is the largest piece of unbroken granite in the world. We visited it while hiking the valley floor. We even touched its lowest slopes. 
The trail we were on was the access point to the outcro outcropping of Al Capitan known as the Nose. Nose is a frequent destination of rock climbers, listed 20 on the map. El Capitan is one of the first wonders you see as you come into the valley. We also saw many conifers in Yosemite National Park. Stay tuned for upcoming Pine Cone Shop E-Editions featuring sequoias and Douglas firs. We hope you enjoyed this visit to Yosemite Valley.